Are you feeling overwhelmed by the chaos of everyday life? Do you wish to cultivate more peace and clarity in your mind? In this video, we're diving into the world of Stoicism, a philosophy that teaches us how to navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and resilience. Lesson 1. Stop making excuses. The hidden bonds that confine us to mediocrity are excuses. We essentially forfeit our agency and relinquish control over our life when we make excuses. Stoicism's central tenet is that we should take responsibility for our deeds rather than for the outside forces or situations in our lives. If you constantly place the blame for your circumstances on other people or outside forces, you deprive yourself of the opportunity to learn from your mistakes and accept responsibility. The Stoic philosopher highlighted that it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. We remain inert when we make up reasons, saying things like, I don't have enough time, I'm too tired, or it's just not the right moment is easy and provides comfort since it lets us stay where we are. We know these are lies, though deep down. Actually, you will find time for things that you genuinely care about. You will overcome weariness if your aims are worthwhile. The perfect moment doesn't arrive unless you make it happen. A Stoic understands that life is short and time is ephemeral. Marcus Aurelius wrote, You could leave life right now. As a frequent reminder to himself of this, allow that to guide your actions, words, and thoughts. Time is of the essence. Seek out reasons why you must do something rather than reasons why you can't. No matter how modest the activity, it gets you closer to your goal. You get momentum from it, and momentum brings about change. Concentrating on the things you can control is one realistic strategy to quit creating excuses. Stoicism holds that the distinction between what we can and cannot change is made easier by the duality of control. Rather than moaning about things that are beyond your control, concentrate your energies on the things that you can change. This change in viewpoint gives you more power and helps you to understand that, even if you can't control everything in life, you can still choose how you will react and make decisions. Excuses deprive you of your dreams. They persuade you that taking the easiest route is the best one. But in actuality, the hardest pathways frequently result in the biggest benefits. So give up making excuses and accept the task. You won't believe how your life will start to change once you stop rationalizing an action. Lesson 2. Avoid engaging in gossip. Gossip is a harmful habit that ruins your peace of mind and impairs your judgment, not just idle chatter. According to Stoic philosophy, gossip is a symbol for life's distractions and our superficial fixation on unimportant matters. The impoverished person is not the one with too little. Rather, it is the one who yearns for more. In certain ways, gossip is a want for more, more approval, more attention, or a diversion from our own inner selves. Talking about unimportant matters with others causes your thoughts to become distracted. You take your energies away from bettering yourself and direct them into analyzing or criticizing the lives of others. The stoic idea of emphasizing your own virtue and character is at odds with this. Being unlike your enemy is the best kind of retaliation. When we gossip, we shrink and encourage negativity and pettiness. Additionally, gossip warts how we see other people. Even when we say hurtful things about someone, even in fun or without mean intentions, we put distance between us and them. We fail to recognize them as fellow humans like us, with weaknesses and strengths. Understanding and compassion are fostered by stoicism. You lose sight of your own shortcomings, the more you dwell on the shortcomings of others. Stoicism encourages us to practice silence and thoughtful words rather than chatter. For reflection, silence can be a very useful instrument. You maintain your mental stability and fortify your moral fiber by refraining from speaking poorly of others. Speaking with aim and purpose is a practice of the Stoics. It is preferable to keep your words to yourself if they do not further the common good. Lesson 3. Have self-confidence. Stoicism teaches us the value of having faith in ourselves, not in a conceited or shallow way, but in our ability to persevere and thrive in the face of adversity. 
The Stoics held that the mind had the ability to influence reality, and the human character is strong. One of the key ideas of Stoicism is that you are enough and have all you need inside you to lead a fulfilling existence. The world can be too much to handle at times. Messages that cast doubt on our potential, worth, and ability are thrown at us nonstop. But Stoicism reminds us that the secret to self-worth is not outside approval. If a man is not his own master, he is not free. This implies that genuine independence and self-belief originate internally rather than from other people's acceptance or rejection. Knowing who you are at your core demands a commitment to self-belief. The Stoics taught us to acknowledge and accept both of our strengths and shortcomings without passing judgment on them. Examine yourself thoroughly. If you do, a source of strength will always reveal itself. This inner strength comes from realizing that you are capable of improving, facing challenges head-on, and learning from every experience rather than from being flawless. Being self-assured also entails accepting accountability for your life. When you have confidence in yourself, you realize that no matter what happens, you always have the ability to decide how you will respond and go. You cease waiting for other people's approval to succeed or for changes to occur in the outside world. Many things in life are out of our control, but we can always choose how we respond to them. As the Stoics frequently remind us, self-belief does not guarantee that you will never experience uncertainty or failure. Adversity is a teacher, and Stoicism teaches us to welcome it. Failure is a necessary component of the process, not the antithesis of achievement. We develop, learn, and get stronger when we fail. Every obstacle presents a chance to work on resilience. Consider failure as evidence that you are trying, learning, and progressing rather than as evidence that you are unworthy. Practice contemplation and thankfulness to build self-belief. Make time every day to celebrate your successes, no matter how minor. Think back on your progress, the difficulties you've surmounted, and the strength you've acquired. This exercise strengthens your inner fortitude and reaffirms your ability to face whatever challenge life presents. Let go of your need for approval from others and your self-doubt. When you have faith in your ability to control your life, you'll discover that opportunity rather than constraints arises in the outside world. Lesson 4. Embrace your failure fear. Fear of not succeeding is one of the most prevalent barriers to human development. We put off taking chances or going after our goals out of fear that we could fail. But Stoicism tells us that failure is something to be welcomed rather than something to be feared. Failure is seen by those with a Stoic perspective as a necessary part of life and as a springboard to success and wisdom. Just as labor strengthens the body, difficulties strengthen the mind. Put another way, we get stronger the more obstacles and struggles we overcome. A common cause of dread of failure is a false perception of what failure actually entails. Failure is a transient experience that aids in our learning and development, not a permanent state. The Stoics serve as a reminder that it is our reactions to our setbacks that define who we are. Failure is something we should avoid at all costs since it prevents us from growing. Stoicism encourages us to approach our activities with virtue rather than attachment and to be content with the results of those actions. Epictetus emphasized that effort, not outcome, is the only thing within our control. We may overcome the crippling fear of failing by concentrating on the process and the work we do. Both failure and success are fleeting. What lasts are our growth and integrity. Anxiety of not succeeding is frequently linked to anxiety of being judged by others. We fear that if we don't succeed, others will think less of us or our competence. Stoicism helps us to let go of other people's opinions. The Stoics held that we have no control over other people's opinions, so we shouldn't care what they think. It is important that we uphold our own morals and beliefs. Stoicism also exhorts us to engage in the discipline of premeditation of evils. This entails preparing yourself psychologically for the potential for failure prior to it occurring. You lessen the emotional effect of the worst-case situation when it really happens by planning for it. This approach suggests that you be mentally ready for bad things so that they don't surprise you, 
rather than dwelling on the bad things that might happen. You will be more eager to take chances, more receptive to learning, and ultimately more successful in your undertakings if you can let go of your fear of failing. Lesson 5. Talk to yourself positively. The internal dialogue we have with ourselves, or self-talk, greatly influences how we feel, act, and view the world in general. Stoicism gives the intellect and our ability to control our ideas a lot of weight. Our self-talk has the power to either strengthen or weaken us. We can connect ourselves with stoic ideas and develop inner serenity and resilience by engaging in positive self-talk. It is not objects that disturb people, but rather the perspectives they hold about them. This suggests that our ideas and perceptions of external events, rather than the events themselves, are what are distressing us. Self-talk that is negative exaggerates problems, making them appear more difficult than they truly are. We lose sight of our potential and strengths when we criticize ourselves or dwell on our alleged shortcomings. Ignoring difficulties or acting as though everything is all right are not aspects of positive self-talk. It all comes down to interpreting your experiences in a way that encourages rather than deters you. Marcus Aurelius constantly reminded himself to think only on virtue and reason, understanding that bad feelings and self-defeating thoughts impair judgment and erode resolve. The first step in using positive self-talk is to become conscious of your internal dialogue. Recognize when you are being unkind or judgmental to yourself. Stoicism encourages us to treat ourselves with kindness, not in a way that condones vice or laziness, but rather in a way that recognizes our humanity. Since we are all fallible, mistakes will inevitably be made. Errors happen to everyone, but continuing in error is demonic. It's acceptable to make mistakes. Nevertheless, what matters is to grow from them and to treat oneself with the same compassion we would extend to a friend in need. Using neutral or uplifting language to substitute disparaging remarks is one technique to engage in positive self-talk. The way you talk to yourself affects how you perceive the outside world. Rather than saying, I'm not good enough, say, I'm doing my best and I can improve, or I always fail, say, this is a learning experience. You grow stronger, more upbeat, and more equipped to handle the difficulties of life. You'll discover that your attitude, your self-assurance, and your capacity to flourish can all be significantly affected by one small change. Lesson 6. You shouldn't always aim to please everyone. A prevalent cause of tension and discontent in life is the aspiration to satisfy everyone. In an attempt to win others' acceptance and recognition, we frequently go above and beyond. But Stoicism tells us that this is a useless and pointless endeavor. You have no control over other people's emotions, and attempting to please everyone can only lead to disappointment and self-betrayal. Don't waste any more time debating what makes a good man. Be one. This serves as a reminder that living by our own beliefs and ideals, rather than continuously seeking acceptance from others, is our main duty. We have no influence over other people's opinions. We are in charge of our behavior, how we react to circumstances, and how we live our lives in accordance with our values. Making everyone happy frequently results in sacrificing your own wants and goals. Instead of being according to your own nature, you wind up living up to the expectations of others. Stoicism places a strong emphasis on the idea of being authentic and aware of oneself. First and foremost, embrace your identity and then dress accordingly. You are not influenced by the passing opinions of others when you live genuinely. Knowing that you are leading an honest life brings you inner peace. The Stoics recognized that it's okay if not everyone agrees with or approves of your decisions. The entire planet is my nation. I was not born for any one place. This implies that we are not here to satisfy a particular set of individuals or to conform to limiting expectations. We are here to live completely, to learn, to develop, and to make our own special contributions to the world. Giving up on the desire to please everyone will release you from the stress of continuously looking for validation. It enables you to concentrate on what really counts. 
your personal development, your own goals, and your own welfare. Giving up on trying to satisfy everyone gives you the confidence to set limits, say no when it's appropriate, and order your priorities. We learn from Stoicism that it is likewise difficult to satisfy everyone. It is impossible to please every individual, no matter how hard you try, as they all have distinct values, tastes, and expectations. Rather than expending your energy on an unachievable goal, concentrate on leading a moral life and remaining true to your own path. Individuals that value and honor you for who you are will stay in your life. Those who don't aren't worth attention. Lesson 7. Take a Chance We are encouraged by Stoicism to welcome change and venture outside of our comfort zones. Because life is always changing, we limit our potential and growth if we stay set in our ways or are hesitant to attempt new things. The Stoics promoted the habit of venturing into the unknown with bravery and curiosity because they recognized that discomfort is frequently an indication of growth. Action is aided by the obstacle to action. What obstructs the path eventually becomes it. The Stoic idea that difficulties and barriers should be welcomed as chances for personal development rather than avoided. Attempting new things pushes you to develop in ways you may not have predicted. You allow yourself to be exposed to fresh insights, viewpoints, and abilities. Often, our fear of the unknown prevents us from attempting new things. We fear discomfort, embarrassment, or failure. We learn from Stoicism that these anxieties stem from our attachment to uncontrollable outcomes. The Stoics remind us that our effort and attitude are the only things we can control. We free ourselves from the fear of failing when we put more emphasis on the process than the result. Challenges are indicators of a person's character. We learn new things about ourselves through attempting new things, including our talents, weaknesses, and ability to adapt. Whether or not a new experience is effective, it broadens our knowledge and comprehension of the world and ourselves. Attempting new things also aids in our escape from monotony and ennui. We cease developing when we carry out the same actions every day. The Stoics held that lifelong study and personal development were essential. Continue learning how to live as long as you are alive. Life is a never-ending journey of discovery, and every new encounter advances us. Start small when experimenting with new things. You don't have to make big adjustments right now. Start by trying something new, such taking an alternative approach to an issue, taking up a new pastime, or striking up a conversation with a stranger. You will grow more adept at accepting change and uncertainty the more you practice moving outside of your comfort zone. Lesson 8. Don't give a damn about what other people think. The Stoics placed a strong emphasis on letting go of things beyond of our control and concentrating on what we can manage. The opinions of others is one of the things that we can most definitely not control. Although it's normal to crave reinforcement and approval from others around us, obsessing over other people's opinions might divert us from our own principles and objectives. We all care more about other people's opinions than our own, but we love ourselves more than they do. This never ceases to astonish me. You become a prisoner to other people's expectations when you give too much thought to what others think. It's possible that you'll start making choices that align more with the wishes and beliefs of other people than with your own. This results in a lack of sincerity, internal conflict, and discontent. Living by our own values rather than the whims of others is encouraged by Stoicism. Accept that you will be perceived as silly and ignorant if you wish to get better. This does not imply that we should try to enrage or alienate people. Rather, it means that when we are doing what is right for us, we shouldn't be frightened of being misinterpreted or condemned. Other people's opinions are frequently ephemeral and derived from their own prejudices, insecurities, and misconceptions. We give up control and let other people decide how happy we are when we put too much value on them. Regardless of what others may think, the Stoic method focuses on leading a morally upright life in accordance with our own principles, believing that this is the way to true fulfillment. To learn how to let go of the urge for acceptance, remember yourself that while everyone has the right to their own opinions, you are not defined by them. Develop a strong sense of self-worth that comes from your own deeds and principles, 
not from other people's approval. The more you put your attention toward your own development and goals, the less other people's opinions will impact you. Lesson 9. Refrain from criticizing others and yourself. Criticism of ourselves as well as of others can cause unneeded suffering and negativity. Stoicism encourages us to approach ourselves and others with compassion and understanding and to be aware of our thoughts and deeds. Serious self-criticism breeds fear and self-doubt whereas severe criticism of others breeds division and judgment. The color of one's ideas becomes infused into one's spirit. This implies that our thoughts influence our internal environments, which in turn influences our external experiences. When we constantly criticize ourselves, we cast limitations and negativity on the world. We prevent ourselves from growing and fulfilling ourselves by concentrating on our shortcomings rather than our potential. Critiquing others fosters a judgmental and divisive worldview. Stoicism emphasizes that everyone is on a unique path of development and learning, and that we are all interconnected. Be tough with yourself and tolerant of others. This implies that we should have high expectations of ourselves, but also have empathy and understanding for other people. Criticism frequently originates from a position of fear or insecurity. We frequently criticize ourselves, because we worry that we won't measure up. It's common for us to project our own fears onto other people when we criticize them. Understanding these patterns and substituting compassion for criticism are skills that stoicism imparts. Gratitude and acceptance are two practices that can shield oneself from criticism. When you catch yourself being too critical of yourself, stop and consider your blessings. Pay attention to your own and other people's strengths. Recognize that no one is perfect, including yourself, and that everyone is doing the best they can with the information and tools available to them at any given time. Your life will drastically change if you let rid of these nine things. Justifications, rumors, self-doubt, fear of failing, negative self-talk, the need to please everyone, fear of trying new things, worrying too much about other people's opinions, and criticism. True contentment and tranquility originate from within. As Stoicism teaches us, when we connect ourselves with wisdom and virtue, you create space for development, fulfillment, and a stronger sense of purpose when you let go of these obligations. Every action is a discipline, a daily commitment to leading an intentional and aware life. You'll discover that life gets lighter, more meaningful, and happier when you let go of these challenges. The Stoic way leads to a life of inner serenity and genuine fulfillment, but it is not an easy one.